So science project. This is what wax worms look like. There's a nice big one amongst all the little ones. And there's a high beetle right there. Grab that high beetle. Get my fingers to work properly here. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Ah. At least it's not trying to fly away. So if you grab it, head down, slowly push from the bottom side, it'll fly out of your hand. Pop out of your hand. And, uh oh, there we go. That on uh, the proper backlight here. Let's see. Ah. And there we go. Can you see it maybe? Right there, right there. Come on, focus in. There we go. Oh, maybe in the grass. Get my finger to rotate here. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks one handed. Alright. So she's already sucked it back in. Put her down there for a second, get my fingers cleaned off. And we will grab her again. All right, there we go. Maybe you can see that sticking that white spot sticking out. See as many will pull it all the way in. If my camera knew what to focus on, it would help out a lot. All right, but anyways, what I was trying to show you is how to pupate. There we go. That. that high beetle there. Kind of hard to see on my fingers. It's just basically a, a white. Oh, there it goes. There's a bunch of eggs right here. Now we can see it maybe. All that kind of glistening stuff right there. My camera would stay in focus. That's all the eggs that she's ready to lay. And then you squeeze a little harder and she's dead. All right, I'm gonna high tool these wax moths to death. And that's my skid steer running in the background. Sorry if you can't hear it very well. Alrighty, till next time, see ya.